Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. And this week, Dick and I are finishing out our canoe in deer camp on the Manistee River. We've spent a week winter camping on this slow, cold, winding river in search of the elusive Michigan white-tailed deer. We paddled in under near freezing temperatures, loading in hundreds of pounds of gear and a new hot tent setup, and hopefully all the food and water and firewood we might need to survive the week. And, you know, not just survive, but manage that Michigan Adventure Life comfort deep in the heart of public land in the beginning of winter in Michigan. Not quite sure what to expect. We weren't sure how we'd end up hunting or where or if we'd even end up seeing anything. And with the temperature dropping and the weather blowing and raining and snowing on us all week, it was a big effort just to get up and in the blind every morning. But we had been seeing some deer. It was just about finding the right deer at the right time. Dick tip. When camping in a TP shelter, the lower you are to the ground, the more space you will have in your tent. And on the third day, Dick finally got his chance. The chance he'd been waiting for for three long years. Are you going to be able to kill it? Is it a doe? You got it. I'm fucking deaf, but you got it. Second shot, Dick. And with that, Dick finally bagged himself a deer. And we had to start thinking about how we're going to pack up to head home in our canoes. With all our gear and cameras spread out, We'd have to go through, find it all, collect it all, tally the gear, and then try and get it all safely packed away for a long, cold, wet paddle out. Hopefully we could all stay dry at least. Deck tip. Always bring an extra paddle. I'd already put in a couple more days hunting in that snow, but I hadn't really seen much. And the weather had started to warm up on the sixth day. So we knew it was time to get while the getting's good. Before our prized dough just started to rot in the sun. So we packed the canoes and pushed off into the river once more. Guess what? It's about 20 degrees warmer. The water is still just as cold as when we came in. <laughs> Neat. Funny how that works. Woo. 
book. Get to it. Get to it, Dad. It says 45, it says 45 seconds. It's recording. The paddle out ended up being the easiest part of our entire trip possibly. It's all downstream from there, man. Gorgeous weather, and before we knew it, we were at our pullout, unloading the canoes into the truck so we could pick up the adventure mobile upriver and start the long drive back to civilization. It was a great deer season with a great friend on some absolutely excellent Michigan public land. Dick tip. When in doubt, paddle out. Well, that's going to be it for this adventure, folks. Please remember, if you liked it, or even if you didn't, click that thumbs up. And remember to click subscribe down there somewhere, and then ring that bell so you'll get a notification when we kick back off with Part 2 of Michigan Adventure Life Season 3. That's right, folks. It's New Year's. Happy New Year's. So that means we're going to take a few weeks off here and, you know, get some more footage. So leave a comment down there. Tell us what kind of adventures you'd like to see us get up to once there's some snow on the ground and ice on the lakes. We really appreciate you joining us for the first half of Season 3. Stick around for February. See you the second half. But until then, this has been My Adventure Life. Thanks for watching, guys.